Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to or new to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. I've started another series uh, on my channel. Um, this is the continu continuation of that because I've changed a lot since then. Uh, I've started a, a playthrough modded. Um, but I had some issues with some mods and with the audio. And now I fixed that. So we're starting in white run. I still didn't do much in um, only the intro, the stuff I did in my other videos. I will put a link out in the description for that. And um, I can show you in my quests. I've done the stuff in Helgen, I've been in Riverwood, I have been in Bleak Falls Barrow, where I've retrieved the Golden Claw, and now I'm just meeting the Jarl in Whiterun. And I still have to enter White Run, so we're about to enter the city. Um, and I did Unbound and I did the Golden Claw. And I've got some miscellaneous quests on me and I got some other quests, only the Forgotten City, that's a mod. So <clears throat> I, in the other playthrough I explain which mods I use. But let's, let me show you what mods I currently still use because I've uh, disabled some because I was using Frostfall, I was using I Need, two skills or mods you will use if you're running through a survival uh, mode or you're doing a survival playthrough. But it wasn't a little too, I'm not sure, I'm a kind of a, a slow gamer, I like to take it slow and it made me feel stressed. So I've uh, disabled those, which means Campfire, Frostfall and I Need are off. Others are still on, so like the... Um, Special edition patch, false card. This adds a whole new country to um, or piece of land to Skyrim. Static mesh improvement, ordinator perks of Skyrim, which um, replaces the vanilla perks, which is awesome. More magic spells with apocalypse, enhanced blood textures, lampposts, belt fastened quivers. Sophia, now this is fun. I just collected her in the stables of White Run, so I did that as well. Um, I will let her, uh, I will show you her in a moment. Violence, which adds more kill moves. Ars Metallica, which adds more um, crafting stuff. Diverse Dragons, which adds more dragons. Uh, Sons of Berenzia will add quest marks for Berenzia. Relationship dialogue overhaul. Um, more voices for NPCs, so that's interesting. And more sentences. Open cities, in which you will... Um, find open cities so you're not getting into an instance but you just open the door and you enter a city so it, that's more interesting it uh, leads to very interesting situations i hope climates of tamriel the weather mod the forgotten city is an uh, um, an extra addition to the story i guess wet and cold which is really awesome has some effects on the npcs when there is rain or blizzards Immersive citizens, AI overhaul, they will react a certain way to certain situations. The AI is simply better. Realistic water, and that's it. So yeah, if, I, if you want to me uh, hear me explaining more of them, then you should watch the other video, uh, the other playthrough, where I explain them in more detail. Um, so yeah, we're here for the, for the Jarl. I've uh, installed a, a lot of mods. Well, I've changed my character output as well, or my character class. That is what, really what I meant to say. I'm playing with controller on PC, by the way, because it controls better for me. And I'm currently using... Um, I'm going to be a warrior type with a one-handed weapon and a shield. It just fits me the best. I started out with, um, with a rogue kind of character, but it just doesn't suit me. I am keeping... Um, or I'm holding on onto the light armor in case we need to use it, but other than that, I'm equipping heavy armor. Um, as far as, as the armor is better, so I'm not going to be a mage. I will have some um, destruction spells, some other spells I will use, and bow and arrow is still in play, but mainly uh, sword and shield. Now, about potion-wise, I am not too fond of crafting and potion making and alchemy and all this stuff. I would rather find it in the game or buy it uh, because in my last playthrough like back in 2011 that is non youtube by the way i did that already so i'm gonna want to soak up the story and the environment instead of doing the micromanagement stuff this time 
Um, so yeah, that's what I will be doing. I'm trying to do everything in the game, so I will take it one at a time. I don't like fast travel. Um, we'll see where I get, and uh, the, sh the story will shape for our eyes, and we'll see what we're getting into. Other things, I will read some books now and then, so you know. And um, yeah, that's it. I have Feindel with me currently, which is my companion. You can have him and Sophia. Now, we have to talk to her. Like I said, we've seen her. We've picked her up in the stables right over there, the White Run stables. She's laying there, and you can initi initiate a conversation, and then she will join you. What is it? Now, she's a fully voiced... NPC follower companion which you can use beside a different uh, companion so that's a good thing and she knows everything about Skyrim and she will uh, remark on certain locations or quests um, so she is very uniquely shaped so uh, kudos for the one who made that mod and uh, if you want to talk to her she says something um, of the like, she's a little bit um, of an uh, not evil, but a little um, what's the word for that? Mm, naughty, no, maybe, maybe so. And it, it's, it's somewhere in the middle if you can um, involve with her romance romantically, but I'm not sure yet. So, if I talk to you for a bit, you can ask me anything. I've talked to her already, but let's just ask her how are you feeling. Nauseous from the smell. This place absolutely stinks. Almost as bad as you do. <laughs> that was a joke, obviously. Or was it? So as you can see, she is quite decently voiced. And she has unique things to say. So she will be interesting to... Uh, to travel with. And we've picked her up just early in the game. So that's going to be awesome. Um, I'm playing on the Adept... Difficulty level, so uh, kind of casual, but we'll see how that turns out as well. As I was saying, Fainal is with me, Sophia is with me. We're about to enter White Run. As you can see, the doors are open. Normally, that's an instance, but now you can just enter the city without a loading screen, and it's that much more immersive. So, I'm about to explore this city. And what do we need to do here? We have to speak with the leader of the companions and talk to the Jarl of Whiterun. But I will explore the city fully, talk to the NPCs, shop here and there, reading books. So let's take it slowly and see what happens. It's been a while since I've been in Whiterun, like five years ago. And I gotta say, I really love the special edition. Um, I know there are better mods out there for the original Skyrim. Not all mods are ported to the special edition. But the fact that um, Bethesda made an effort to make this game, I don't know, it's pretty... I guess it's, it's pretty... Um, not everyone is so enthusiastic as I am, but I like to dive back into Skyrim with, with all mods, all DLC and everything. So uh, it makes for a... Uh, Jimonga's game, that is awesome. So let's talk to the guard. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Yeah, the Arnold Schwarzenegger voice actors are back. We all know what the White Run guards say. The Bannered Mayor has beds for it. Okay, let's check over here. Cannot loot that. What time is it? Loredas, 1 p.m. The last of seed. Anyone here? We can't loot that? We need to uh, give her some clothes. And I'm thinking of making her a, a rogue. Or at least a thief with light armor. Now Feindal has light armor as well. Whose horse is this? Oh, that would be stealing. Smelter. What can we do with the smelter? Smelt ore and raw materials into metal ingots. Which are we... Required to create and improve weapons and armor. Well, for now, I won't be dealing with that. Like I said, can't be bothered. Because I will be finding better armor constantly. So, I, I'd rather see this stuff more like endgame. When I have the best armor and I find nothing better. Then I will improve my stuff. This mystical natural wonder known as the Fountain of Boos. Do you think the stories are true? I sure hope so. 
If I ever found it, I would never go sober again. What are you referring to? She's referring to something in Skyrim. You might know what she's referring to. Okay, that's like the sewer system. I'm not seeing any shit or something. <laughs> it was pulled away nicely though. Alright, let's see. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. What are you doing for her, for him? Edelaf Battleborn. I've talked to him outside. Greymane or Battleborn? Does it matter? What? Got stones in your ears? I asked what side you're on. Greymane or Battleborn? Oh no, wait. I talked to his brother, I think. John Battleborn. This is Edelaf. I don't know what you're asking. I don't know the difference yet. New in town, huh? White Run's got two clans, both old and both respected. Difference is, the Greymanes turned their backs on the Empire, and we Battleborn stayed loyal. So I'll ask again, Greymane or Battleborn? Well, since you're, uh... Well, no, no, I'm not picking sides yet. Sooner or later, we all have to choose a side. Long live the Empire. Alright, well, good day. I really like the fact that when outside the city... Okay, he's just not spawning now. He will open the door and we'll move through it, which is awesome. I've seen some people sit on the um, the ramparts over there, which is awesome. I didn't, I'm didn't. i not sure if that happened in the original Skyrim, but that is what the mod, um, the character AI overhaul does, which is very nice. All right, let's start somewhere. Uh, why not at this house? I think, you know what, I will... Uh, I'm. I know that Wydron has like uh, a shopping district and a um, upper class district maybe. Let's explore the outside first before we head inside places. Uh, okay, so this is the War Maidens, it's a shop. The Guard Barracks. I think this is the, the Drunken Huntsman, yeah that's the tavern I think. Anything up here, just checking, would all be considered stealing. Not that I need stuff from the barrels, to be fair. Do you know what I love to do when I have a little too much spare gold? I find a beggar and pay them to harass people. Okay, they sure. They are so desperate for money that they will do almost anything. It can be very entertaining to watch. <laughs> Alright, it's going to be interesting traveling with her, let's say that. I'm a sort man myself. Yeah, me too, actually, but this is what I look, by the way. I'm a, a wood elf, actually. Pretty small one, but yeah. I like the fact that I have the, the mod the um, where the shiver goes onto your belt instead of your back. Why isn't there anyone outside? And one of the behavior mods I have installed also make them behave in a certain way that they are um, zoned in on one spot. Like in evenings in Riverwood, everyone did go to the um, the inn or the tavern to to drink, which was kind of funny. Uh, okay, let's go. What is this? Breeze home. Okay, that's. I think that's the home we can obtain after doing stuff for the, the Jarl. War Maidens. Let's have a look, huh? I'm playing with the highest settings, Ultra, so it should run smoothly. I have some had some um, performance issues where there are stutters, but it isn't really tied to uh, the graphic display. So maybe Bethesda will release some updates now and then. Olava the Feebles House. Now, why were there two White Run guards going in there? We'll find out once we enter that later on. Okay, can we actually go around that? Yeah, like I said, I haven't been here for five years, but I still remember the place. At 
least the you know the streets and where the shops are and stuff but not much of the NPCs anymore and the last time I've played like 120 hours didn't complete it and uh, I think I've uh, didn't even visit like four big of this four of the big cities didn't complete the main quest didn't complete any of the faction quests I just did miscellaneous stuff and then my save game was corrupt and I cried <laughs> because I couldn't play um, further and I didn't want to try a new game but now there's another chance to redeem myself Arcadia's cauldron need a blade you should talk to Adrian at the forge yeah where is everyone like I say before 3 p.m. there should be people here what is this the door is on the other side I guess who lives here Severio Pelagia. Okay, there is someone here. Carlotta Valencia. Okay, she's the one I've read the, the, the book about. There's a white run, white run book, and one of the bards there writes the book. Have you ever read the Lusty Agonian Maid? It sounds like my kind of book. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. What? Just because I'm female doesn't mean I can't enjoy a nice, classy piece of literature? I've heard it's quite intellectually stimulating. Well, if I find it, I can uh, give you it. I just heard it was stimulating. Although I don't think it was the intellectual kind. Yeah, like I said, she's kind of naughty, which adds, uh, adds an interesting flavor to the game. Um, Alright. What I was saying, this is a person that was mentioned by the bard in that book. Because he is a player and I think he likes her. Life's hard enough with all these men propositioning me. There we go. But that bard is the worst. Okay. I've just told them about it. Um You get a lot of attention from men. You've got no idea. Half the men in White Run have proposed to me. Some were even single. They'll never understand. No amount of flowers or honeyed words are going to change my mind. <laughs> honeyed words. Right mm. now? All that matters is my daughter Mila. No man's going to get between me and my little girl. What's up with Mila? Someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Huh. Well, what have I talked to Mikhail? I've heard John Battleborn uh, warn me about Mikael as well, so he's quite a character. If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. Talk to Mikael about Carlotta. Well, what if you Some fail? Call this junk? Me? I call them treasures. Yeah, one of the most famous phrases of Skyrim. Well, I'm not about to buy some food or ingredients, so thank you. Remember, fresh fruit and vegetables every day. It's not really what I need. And I know it's more immersive if you have to feed yourself with water and stuff, but it's kind of tedious after a while, so that's why I turn it off. Who is this? Anoriath. Finest cuts, fresh from the wilds. Well, what do you got? Some may call this junk. Oh man. <laughs> sure. Everyone does that. Um, no. Good hunting. Thank you. The Bannered Mare. Oh, is that the tavern? Or oh, there might be two. All right, let's. Um, what is this then? Okay, Arcadia Scholar. Let's go back to the start of town and go inside houses. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. Not yes, sure. Well, you can stay away from mine, Tired you hypocrites. Had enough of fish. <laughs> Treat yourself and your kin to a choice cut of steak or a tender rack of ribs. Mm. People say you shouldn't be naked in public, but I managed to get a free outfit out of it, so it can't be all that bad. Well, there's one way. I mean, it's not like you would leave me walking around naked the whole time. Well, you're not really naked, aren't you? But it must be cold wearing that. 
Although white run seems quite nice, so better wise. Wouldn't be very realistic if we had Frostfall on. And she would just walk around with that. Okay, let's uh, tackle that child. Can we? I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. Oh, you're Mila. All right. Let's start over here, if it's open at least. Guard barracks, it is. What kind of a woman do you think I am? <laughs> you would be the one lollyganging. All right, she's fun. Um, Storm cloaks, imperials, dragons. Ain't no matter to me what I kill. Let them come. Well, yeah, you're tough. Okay, what do we got here? We have a book. I'm just reading the books that I haven't read yet. Beggar Prince. I still remember that book from Oblivion. The story of the Weedle and his gifts from the Daedric Lord Namira. Yeah, I'm not going to read it because I know it already. I can summarize it though. It's about a beggar that can't see and he prays to the god or something like it. The god helps him and the beggar becomes uh, the eyes and ears of... Uh, Oblivion or the town something like it. I'm explaining it very very uh, badly, but uh, that's something about um, Yeah About a beggar who gains power from the mirror Like I said some books I will read because I don't know the story and some books I just don't You should talk to the Yarl up in Dragon's Reach then any aid you can is it that small? Okay, we'll do, guard. All right. What I think it? that's it. What I can't see. Doing? Yeah, I'm doing nothing. Look at that sweet roll, by the way. That's gi safe, I hope. gigantic. Oh, trust me. You were saying? It's fun, it's fun that she replies to chatter of NPCs. I wonder if that the guy or girl that made the mod open cities could make it for instances like this as well. Uh, let's go here first. War mains. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might have it stored away. All right, Sophia sitting down. Making herself comfortable. I'm not buying you any clothes, I think, but it will just find it somewhere in the world. Yeah, this is the hard heavy armor, dude. If it's armor you need, we've got all kinds, both light and heavy. Just looking for stuff, maybe books or something. No. Nope. Alfbert, war bear. Welcome to war maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Who forges your arms and armor? Adrian, at her forge, just outside. Place is named after her, War Maidens. It's a childhood nickname given by her father. What I hear, she was playing with swords even back then. Anyway, our wares are strong and the price is fair. What else matters? Hmm, nothing I guess. Who's in charge of Whiterun? That'll be the Jarl, Balroof the Greater. He's an honorable enough man. Never done wrong by me or my kin. Things are tough for him now, I'd wager. What with the fighting and the dragons. But Balgruf's a tough old Nord. He can handle it. Okay, what do you got? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Let me have a look. I've sold everything in Riverwood. All the loot from Bleak Falls Barrow, which was a very cool um, dungeon. I think it was well designed and we learned a shout we haven't fought any dragons yet so we can't use it yet yeah and i'm eagerly awaiting the sky ui uh, interface mod because this one is still bugging me out imperial bow of dismay well, i have 214 gold 
so I won't be buying it. Anything else? Dagger, sanctified iron dagger. Expensive. Steel arrows, no need that. I'm not buying stuff from my companions. We'll find plenty in the world, so uh, I'm not wasting my money on that yet, at least. Not that I have the money at the moment. Apparel, what do you got? Bandit, bandit iron shield. A little too expensive. All expensive stuff. Steel hornet helmet. Yeah, don't have much to spend, really. Do I buy the lockpick? Yeah, why not? The rest you can keep. Thank you. Good doing business with you. No clothes for you yet, girl. Okay, let's check upstairs. I'm not going to be thieving much unless the story needs me to. And I will try not to reload whenever a companion like Feindal dies or something like it. I uh, not reloading. So let's make my decisions count. Okay, what do we have? Killing before you're killed. What's that about? By Eduardo Corvus. I've seen many a man rush headlong into battle only to have their life cut short in an instant. I've been a trainer of the warrior arts for many spans. Cut from the cloth of a great line, lineage of knights, blades and even a distant sellsword or two. It's with this knowledge that I'll try to pen a brief treatise on the subtle art of war. Not magefire, not archery or criminal throats slitting, but war. Man on man with nothing but a fine bit of steel between them. The first thing you'll need to learn is how to block. The best way not to get killed is not to let the other man hit you. Use a shield, use it well. Now you'll get tired from this. You may even get a little hurt, but a blocked blow is much better than a landed one. Over time you'll get better, eventually shrugging off even the mightiest of hits. But beware, your foes, if they're not base cur bandits, will know how to counter you. They'll hit you with everything they've got in order to open you up and keeping, keep on hitting. So watch for these powerful attacks. While it's still better to absorb the impact with a quarter inch of steel, it's best to try just to step out of the way. Remember, against spells your blocking is useless until you're trained. So get up on mages quickly and let them eat steel. Deserves them right for using a witch weapon. You can also block without a shield as well. Just cross that blow with your sword, though this isn't nearly as effective. And if you decide you're fancy and want to wield two blades, you can't block at all. So don't even try. Without both hands on the hilt, you just won't have the strength to counter blows. But with a weapon on each hand, you are much more likely to take your opponent down quickly. The best defense, some say. To wield a blade, there are some fundamentals. Quick strikes are always good, but can be repelled, so watch for your opponent's own defensive postures. Wait for an opening, or create one with your own heavy attacks. Hammers hit hardest, but are slow. Same with maces and all blunt weaponry. Axes are a nice middle ground, while swords are the quickest but won't stagger your opponent as efficiently with the, bard hits, with the hard hits. Keep an eye not to get too exhausted. Always try to save a little of your strength to counter blows or even run. Keep moving during a fight. Never let yourself get cornered or surrounded. Pick your threats. Weak spellcasters that can hurt you quick are the first things I fell. Well, that's the way I see it. Kill the ones who are hurting you from a distance. First, the shield is not only a defensive tool, put your shoulder into it and bash your opponent. This sends them flying and opens them up for quick counter assaults. Even better, put extra weight into it and power bash your opponent. If they're small, this will put them on their knees. Bigger opponents cannot be staggered by heavy attacks. Only the power bash will really knock them around and create openings for you to exploit. So again, block, counter, bash, hit them when they're down. They'll show no mercy, so why should you? Battle is about the offense, about catching your foe early and never relenting. Keep moving, keep swinging. If, you're con if you consider yourself overly powerful, pick up a two-handed weapon and see your foes fall before you like wheat stalks. They're slow and unwieldy, but they shatter bones and cleave flesh better than anything. The graves are filled with many a mediocre swordsman. If you don't have the stomach for war, try a monk's work. But if you do travel the path of the warrior, learn the basics and keep your head firmly planted on your shoulders, or someone's bound to lop it off. Alright, I will certainly um, pay attention to that because I'm a warrior. 
Wolfbird is watching. He is a warrior. I wouldn't want to mess with him. What is he carrying anything? Anyway, like a big war axe or war hammer. We've got arms and armor of all kinds. Okay, let's see what he has there. 